all humans here, you know, have pulsing hearts, you have breathing lungs, and you know, move and stuff in real life. And um, so my quote here is, um, I'm not afraid to die, but I just don't want it to be here when it happens. So, um, so like, mo like most people are like afraid of death. Like I'm still kind of afraid of death because like, I don't want to die. But um, people are like, um, can be afraid of death, but like, some people can accept it. But um, the three topics I'm gonna explain to you guys is um, enjoying life, um, people who are like, afraid of death and like accepting it. So like, when you're like enjoying life, you like want to do like things to the fullest, like, cause like you never know like when you could like pass away or anything like that. Because um, when I was younger, I thought like, oh, people could die like of old age. But like as I grew older, like people could die like um, diseases um, or any infections or just like or like birth, like like child at birth or anything like that. So people like. So you need to like enjoy life because you never know like, when's your last day to be here. And um, moving on to the next one is like being afraid of death. Um, I know some people like are afraid of death. Like my little brother, he's like, oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to be this. I don't want to be that. But um, like hopefully, like um, some people like as they get older, like as I said before, like some people can like accept it. Like and everything, like, for accepting death, um, like, I know one of my friends like, oh, no, I have accepted death already, like, I don't even care anymore and all that stuff, but, like, um, some people, like, because, like, once, like, someone dies, like, you have to, like, accept it, like, for myself, like, one of, like, one of my family members passed away two years ago, like, because I thought, like, um, like, once again, like, I thought he was going to die of old age, but he does not, he died because of a of a lim liver disease so like I never knew that he was going to like pass away like so recently at the age of like 53 and um because like I always thought like people would die at the age and everything so like everyone has to like at least enjoy their life as much as they can because you never know when it's your last so, yeah. All right, Maria, uh, you start off with the statement that we're all human. Obviously, you didn't oh see Miguel God. speak. <laughs> all right. <laughs> He was, he was a little mechanical. I was making a joke there. You missed it. Don't worry about it. Um, I, I, like, I, I like the uh, transition to the topic. That's okay. Um, you do have a structure, but I'm not quite sure what it is. I mean, you, you sound like you're dividing it into a couple of points, but those points still remain pretty ambiguous. And the examples, I'm not sure that they help you that much either. Uh, a couple of spots, you start to get into some details and tell us a story and I think that everything's going pretty well then and then sort of you back away from that and just move on to the next topic and it feels a little bit like you were withdrawing from uh, engaging with us on that subject which seems strange because you were on the right track here. <coughs> Presentation issues, uh, your voice drops out at the end of the speech, that's one thing that I noticed that, and sometimes people have a tendency to do that, it's a way that they reflect a little bit of anxiety, they back off of things, and um, they're just uncertain, so they just get quieter and they feel themselves like that. 
it's a little bit awkward. Um, oh, uh, the uh, the quote, of course, involves a little bit of irony, and your delivery seems to kind of miss any of that. So I think your inflection it needs to work a little bit harder at trying to get some of the emotional components there. Um, I didn't. I didn't count your. I'm going to make that would be one of the things you should do in your peer evaluation, your self evaluation, not a peer evaluation, because you're evaluating yourself. Count the number of likes, and I don't mean thumbs up likes. I mean you know the number of times that you said the word like, because that's your crutch word. You go to that, and sometimes the way to kind of address a bad habit is to face it, and you you got to realize that I'm doing this sort of thing. So there there were quite a few, and. You want to get out of the habit of doing that as best you can because it breaks up your fluency. It makes it feel like you are uncertain as to where you are going as opposed to you're just relating to us, which sometimes it, you, the use of the word like is fine, but other times it, it feels like it's just a crutch to get you to the next idea. Your facial exp <coughs> expressions are fine. I thought you had pretty good eye contact. One of the things that I think you'll probably notice while you're watching your video is that you look unbalanced while you're speaking. And part of it is the way you've got your feet. Uh, you have one foot planted in front of the other several times, kind of like you're walking a tight wire. And you look like you're walking a tight wire then, like you were you know, trying to keep from falling off either side. And then sometimes you have your ankles crossed and that does the same kind of thing. It puts you in a slightly unbalanced uh, position. So it would probably be a good idea to keep your feet separated by a few inches, one on one side, one on the other, and that'll probably give you a little bit more confidence while you're speaking too. All right, thank you.